Hey ladies, it is Justina again, um, coming to you with the series that we're working on and it is the six secrets to having it all in life and business. And I am just going to do a recap for you. Um, as y'all can see, I'm being a night owl tonight, but I'm going to recap for you. So, and I'm looking at my notes and I don't have my glasses on. So, <laughs> um, we did do day one already. And day one was, secret one was you have to determine what all means to you. So if you want to dig deep with me on that and see what that really means, I advise you to go back and watch video one. And we're just talking about how that definition of all has to be personal to you, right? That is the way you're going to be able to reach your all is by determining what that means to you. And um, day two, we also talked about embracing the idea that it's okay for you to want what you want. Okay, so that was secret number two. Um, secret number two, um, embracing, hold on one second, close my door. I'm recording, close the door. It's so sorry. Talking to the children, getting this out of the way. But um, because they're ready to read books and they're ready to watch a movie with me and I'm trying to get my videos out. So yes, I'm doing a portion that makes me happy and I'll be getting right back to what makes them happy. Well, it makes me happy to watch movies with them too. So embracing the idea that it's okay for you to want what you want it is okay for me to want to record videos and then watch movies with my children, right? <laughs> so, and I'll take that a little bit deeper. Day two, we dug deep, you know. It is okay for you to have the desires that you want and knowing that those desires come from God. So I want you guys to go back, you know, watch video two and you'll see how deep that one as well. And then recapping from day three, or secret three, we talked about being creative on how to solve our problems and I just, I shared a story and how I had to be creative in order to get to where I am now with my makeup business. <laughs> Excuse me. And then um, day four is you have to be um, a master at asking for help. OMG, you cannot do it alone, right? And even step three or secret three, where we talk about cre being creative Sometimes that creativity is going to include someone else. So before I tell you all the wonderful thoughts and ideas I have around secret three or I'm sorry, secret four, I will introduce myself again for those of you that maybe this is the first time you're coming across this video and you didn't open or watch the other three. So my name is Justina Ford. I am a pro makeup artist and a mindset coach to multi-passionate women of faith. And I help these women to gain confidence. I help them to break free from their fears and their limiting beliefs so that they can step up and show out and gain all the visibility around their God um, purposed or God centered purpose, right? So as women of faith, we are blessed with talents and skills and ideas and dreams, and we want those to come forth in fruition. And for the women that I work with, their hearts are set on their business. They know that they want to build a business that is purposeful, that is soulful, that is a part of who they are, an extension of their talents and their skills. And they're, they want to make impact and they want to touch other women. So that is what I do. I help multi-passionate women of faith to bring forth their desires into reality. Let's get those thoughts and those actions or those thoughts and those plans and all that research and everything that you have on paper, let's bring it into manifestation, right? And so we're going to go back to secret number four. Secret number four, excuse me, is you have to be a master at asking for help and you cannot do it alone. And so I went into this because I do have a blog post on it also. If you want to just hop on over to the website, you can read the whole blog post or you can follow along with me. And I talked about, excuse me, um, yes, with this one is so important. Like I'm definitely asking you, please do not try to attempt your God-centered purpose 
alone, right? Your soulful purpose alone. We are not meant to do this by ourselves. I can't. I had to hire a team just this year in order for me to be able to push forward and get to the next level in my own business. And so um, I've had the taste <laughs> of being a single parent when my husband was deployed and um, I got a chance to exercise the superpowers of asking for help. So I want you guys to really look at it like that. It is a superpower for you to be able to say, you know what, I need help in this. And then there'll be people in your life that even offer the help. I've had people offer me help and I felt guilty, right? I felt like, oh no, 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 I'll be fine. When really, I needed someone to come pick these kids up, take them somewhere, give me a break, let me just breathe sometimes. And so um, that may be, that may mean, you know, soliciting the help of family. Um, what else did I have on here? Neighbors, friends, church members, sports coaches. Oh my goodness. I have three children and when they do their sports, you know, it may be, an away game and a game in town, two different children, same night, okay? So I have to ask, I'm like, do you mind taking my children? Are you okay with picking my kids up? And I have to ask, and I've gotten the help from the coaches. I've gotten the help from the parents. I remember one weekend I had this wedding, and this wedding had been booked a month before he even signed up for his sports. And then the first, um, what was it? The first, no, he had an away game on that day. So one of the parents, I had to do it. Can you please help me? That way I got a chance to do what I love. I'm still doing the wedding. There are other games to go to. My son knows I love him and I support him. And it all worked out. And then later on in the season, there was the first all-star game. That one I wanted to be at. So I elicited the help of another makeup artist and booked her for the job so that I could go to the, um, the football game. So, you know, we have, to, we have to figure out where what it is that you want. Again, I wanted to be there for that game. So I made things work and I was creative and I creative and I asked for help. <laughs> so all of it is so important. Um, the other piece that I said, um, oh yeah, I just told that story without even realizing. So I love it when it's authentic like that. That was in my notes and I didn't even get there. So yes, when I did that commercial commercial shoot, oh my goodness, I would not have been able to do that shoot had I not gotten the help from my neighbor. So I just wanted to share that secret for, it might be like, it should have been, probably should have been number one, but I saved it for now for a reason, obviously. It flowed better in my writing, um, is you have to be a master at asking for help and you cannot do it alone. So as a multi-passionate woman of faith um, that is, you know, creating those steps and you're working toward that goal and you're putting those pieces together and you're putting that plan together and you're wanting to step into your own purpose. Definitely, even if you are now, like you have your own business and you're feeling that like strain or that pull, just be reminded, be reminded because I know that you've asked for help in the past. Maybe you move to a different location and you're like, oh gosh, I have to start this process over. Sometimes we get like that. I know being a prior military spouse myself, um, we move from different locations and I always felt like I had to restart my business. I mean, literally, I started the business in Korea. Then we moved to North Carolina. Then we moved to Georgia. From Georgia, we went back to North Carolina. Now we're in Georgia again. So it's just like, really? You know, trying to rebuild those connections and um, be reminded of like, okay, where was my help from when I came this way? Obviously, our help comes from God, but he places those people in our lives. And we have to be willing to ask them, humble ourselves and ask. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you for watching day four, um, the fourth secret to having it all. And I just want to invite you, if you're not already in my Facebook group, join the Facebook group. And if you are looking for that extra boost of help and figuring out and designing the things that you want to put together, um, definitely hop on a discovery session with me. And um, you can schedule those by going to www.calendly, which is C-A-L-E-N-D-L-Y dot com slash Purposeful Pursuit. So www.calendly.com slash Purposeful Pursuit. 
And you can either do a heart-to-heart -heart session, discovery session, all that wonderful stuff. So I invite you to do that. And you can also read my blog at justinafor.com slash blog. And I have so many more topics and beautiful content to bring your way. I am committed to blogging once a week this year. At the end of the year, I will have more than 52 blogs because I just know that God is pouring into my spirit and there's so much that has to come out of me this year. So I'm super excited to share that with you. All right, ladies, chat with you all soon. Bye-bye.